What is going on, everybody? My name is Grizzgoat. Welcome back to the Grizzoo. Today, we are working on something amazing. We are working on the Mandrill Mansion. Mansion. I was looking for something that would fit in real well with the uh, cat on the other side, the Caracal. Caracal? I hate that word. Um, so... I decided on the Mandro. I think it'd be really cool to kind of make a building uh, that they can kind of climb around in. And then the front area will be kind of like a big uh, space for them to run around. So in this episode, we're going to be building that. Uh, make sure you stay tuned till the end because we have an important announcement for the channel. Um, we are growing like wildfire. 300 something subscribers in the first month the first month that's wild um i posted my first video uh the 6th of march yeah it's april right now the 6th of march and already we have 300 and like 20 by the 6th of april uh that's crazy so yeah, uh, stay till the end. We have important announcements. And let's see. Thanks for all the people that have subscribed on the Twitch. We're halfway to 50 followers on there. Which is wild. And yeah, so here I am building a thing that I don't actually stick to. I realized that the roof for this build would have been just an utter nightmare so I decide to scrap it um, yeah it uh, was not shaping out to be something I wanted to deal with in the long run so now I'm gonna build a kind of round shape one uh, kind of like a I guess it's a little bit like a tower uh, I wanted it to kind of be big since there's not a lot of tall scenery in this part of the zoo yet. So just to kind of fill in the sight lines for the guests, we're adding something kind of big towards the back. Also to cover up the sight line for that ugly staff building that we have back there. Always, it's always good to distract from your ugly builds and um, make something nice looking. So we're in kind of a awkward shaped area. This exhibit is kind of like a weird potato shape. I'm just kind of working around trying to make sure that the rectangular portion uh, kind of matches with that shape. We're going to add in the floor. And before I forget, thanks for all the kind words in the comment sections. Uh, I'm working on making better videos, better produced stuff. Uh, but yeah, I love reading all the nice comments and stuff, so keep them coming. We're just gonna delete some of the weirder looking pieces uh, that were sticking out. Uh, it's hard to get things exactly the way you want when you're um, kind of building like a... when you're just kind of building off the top of your head, honestly, but... When you're building with like a circle and then a square shape, nothing's gonna match up perfectly. So you kind of have to make the minor adjustments. Fill them in with some of the smaller pieces from the build, from the uh, building set. So 
the idea behind this was just to, I think it'd be cool to kind of have a taller climbing structure that's kind of in, enclosed in this building. So the guests can kind of see them from that front, like maybe there might be a one of the mandrills up looking out the top of the window, the guests see it and want to come over and take a look. Uh, and then this bigger window, you can see like the whole climbing structure and then just kind of hanging out there. Skylight's going to be a little bit of an awkward shape, but uh, it's not too distracting from anything, and no one's going to see it really, so. Um. I'm just kind of matching everything up. Um. Making sure there's no gaps for them to escape. Because, uh, yeah, we're just using the null barriers. Now, I want it to be fairly fairly visible throughout the entire exhibit. So if the guest is standing on this side, I want them to still kind of be able to see in towards the climbing structure. Um, so we went with a glass uh, kind of doorway for the front entrance. And that'll just allow, you know, a lot of visibility in through. Now climbing structures, are, they're difficult to build um, and make look interesting. I think I did a pretty good job in the end, but uh, I was losing a lot of hope that it would be interesting. <laughs> um, but in the end, I think it, looked, it came out pretty nice. Once I started adding the vines in there to kind of give it a more natural, uh, I guess it's kind of like a naturally artificial look. I think it turned out really nice uh, and you'll see later the mandrel that we put in there just absolutely loves it I think the first thing he did was climb up the, the climbing structure practical for them to sleep in there and also uh, just kind of get them off the concrete when they're walking around. So now we're gonna kind of take take the very uh, industrial looking building and kind of blend it and make it a little more organic with this rock feature. Uh, so it'll kind of act as like a little porthole for them to for guests to look through um, and see them in that bedding outside bedding area right there um, and eventually we'll put an enrichment item right by the window so that um, it'll kind of encourage the mandrills to go right there Just kind of making a rock wall that looks 
little bit more interesting. Uh, adding that slope in, I think, really adds to the design of the overall build. And now I originally was fine with this color, then I realized I should probably make it the other color uh, of the African Cats exhibit. But then I wasn't sure if I wanted a giant brown modern looking building. Uh, so I decided to make it gray. And I think the gray works really well with this. Of course, like it was all not really grouped that well, so I had to go through and pretty much individually change each color. Which if you join the lines, live streams, you'll get to see that process. Um, so it's very exciting stuff. It's absolutely riveting. I suggest you go over to Twitch and follow me on there. Now because it was just such a gray blob of nonsense, I have been looking for another excuse to use these kind of like wooden details. <laughs> so I'm just kind of uh, adding them to make it make the building a little more interesting and kind of blend it in uh, with some more kind of natural looking scenery. I think it, it gives the building a more kind of unique look from a distance. to tie it in with our other buildings that we have existing. Uh, I think we're just going to stick with this kind of lamp structure, um, the chain and the ball. I think, I don't know why I like it so much, but I think it just kind of adds like a splash of similarity throughout the zoo. Even that, like even this building, it's made out of the 3D material, um, which the other stuff was not. But adding that lamp kind of ties in the structure to the other buildings. Um, so yeah, I, I am glad I did that. I, I guess like overall the building style is generally the same. But yeah. Um, so now adding in something taller than this building just because the, uh, the eye line was off I felt like when I would take a look back at it um, so from the Krakow exhibit it just was such an empty space right there I wanted a big tree to kind of fill it in um, and that one worked really well to kind of it also makes it feel like a lush kind of jungly feel to it um, so the Krakow is kind of a deserty animal I think and then it, that kind of helps it blend in uh, to the jungle aspect of like the mandrill and stuff now you can see we have our mandrill he's in there he went straight up the climbing stuff and then we have our brand new uh, river hog which is from the new pack which you can actually go download at Instant Gaming. Uh, I have an affiliate code linked in there, and I believe it's cheaper than buying it on Steam right now. Um, so go check that out. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I think I can't even believe that the River Hog's a real animal. It looks like a mystical. I don't. It looks doesn't look like a real animal, but it is. Now we're just going to set him up with a little water area. And apparently the mandrill and the red river hog actually get along, um, which obviously that's why I put them in the same enclosure. Um, but yeah, I think that's cool. I think the red river hog is actually becoming kind of a fan favorite. 
So yeah, highly suggest you pick up the new Tropical Pack. They have a lot of new building features and stuff. Now we're going to add just a splash of color with that uh, tree that we used in the greenhouse. Same, same kind of tree. Um, I like the red leaves on it. It kind of makes it a little more unique. Now we're just kind of fleshing out the bed with some rocks. If you have any steep slopes, you should always put rocks just because in nature you're never going to find a steep slope that's just dirt or sand. You're going to always want to put rocks there. Now we're just hiding some enrichment items. Here's the one by that little porthole right there. And we're going to hide some in the bush. Just because I don't like to overwhelm with too many open enrichment items. I think it looks a little tacky. But in the building house, or in the in the Mandro Mansion, we can actually put more of those artificial looking enrichment items in there just because that's kind of the aesthetic. Now we're taking a look from above. I was a little worried that uh, since the uh, African cat next door is kind of more savanna um, and the mandrel was listed under jungle, I was afraid they were going to need too much cover and it was going to kind of throw the balance off, but um, the mandrel was happy with just a few trees that we have out there, so it worked really nicely and it's not too dramatic of a change. There's our cute little river hog splashing around in the sprinkler and clipping through the ground. Okay, so now we're at the announcement part of the video. While I was on Twitch, we crashed the game and the save file seems to be not allowing me to edit anything in the zoo anymore. Um, if you know how to fix that, let me know because that would be great. Um, I have another game that I'm going to start playing. Uh, I think you guys will like it, maybe even more than Planet Zoo, honestly. Uh, so I will continue to make content. But for right now, yep, there's the crash screen that I keep getting. So yeah, just stay tuned. Um, don't give up on me. Don't unsubscribe because I love you guys being subscribed. And I don't want to lose any subscribers over this. I think it might just be the Tropical Pack might be causing some people some issues i've looked on forums and stuff but here's the baboon um we love him so stay tuned for him and me but i'll have new content and it'll be amazing so please don't leave please please